Lloyd Robinson is often mistaken for a minor celebrity, but at six foot four, there's nothing minor about Lloyd, and his style, it's big in every way. I like the rings, I like the cigar, I like everything about it. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, this is cool. And don't you look like a fine specimen of a man? Life hasn't always been easy for Lloyd. He's been unemployed, had to sweep floors, but he got into the scrap metal business. He now has a fleet of vans and men all working for him. Fashion is in the blood. I've always wanted to be a fashion icon. And clothes is my thing. I don't, you know, fashion, I mean, scrap to me is just money, but clothes is what I, that's what I really want to do. And he's not short on self-belief. On his vans, he's called Sir Lloyd George Robinson, but it must be news to the Queen. At the one-stop recycling plant, one of the biggest in the West Midlands, the owner is already a huge fan. From a, from a scrap man to, you know, somebody who wants to build a fashion empire, I guess, and whatever, I think, yeah, fair, fair play to him. The bowler hats and fur coats, it's the look that American hip-hop artists took from the gangsters of the 1940s. But Lloyd says his style comes from Winston Green and the 80s. The double-breasted, triple-breasted and the three-piece suit came really, not really from gangster, gangster days, from church days. So Jamaicans dress when they go to church and wear a hat. So I knew about that style. So my parents used to dress when they go to church. What about subtlety? What about less is more? So well, I'm 49 now. How long am I going to live? Live your life. Live it large. Humble yourself. Be nice to people. And it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. As Lloyd says, if you've got it, then flaunt it. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Broad Street, Birmingham.